Hi, hello my Eurovision friends and welcome to a new video! We have many new songs selected for Eurovision 2024, so we better get straight into it! And we have a returning artist for Moldova, Natalia Barbu was the winner of this year's Etapa Nationala, although in fact it, there was a tie between her and Valeria Pasha, but as she had the highest uh, jury vote, Natalia was eventually the winner. I don't have anything against her at all, but I think um, Valeria Pasha or Catalina Solomak would have been better options or at least something more interesting and uplifting, but I haven't seen this final performance from Natalia, so maybe she surprises me. She's been at Eurovision before in 2007 with the song Fight, which in fact was one of my favorite songs that year, is really memorable, I'll put here a bit, but check the full performance if you haven't seen it, because it's really powerful and worth it. ended in 10th place, I think. And well, of course, we know Natalia is a successful singer in Moldova. She is 44 and she is a singer, songwriter and violinist. She was born in the city of Balti in a musical family. At a very young age, she began learning how to play violin and she even graduated from the State Conservatory with a major in violin. She first touched fame in 1998 when she won a competition, but it wasn't until 2006 that she signed with Cat Music Records and released the single In Gerul Meu, which topped the charts for 11 weeks. And as I said, she was selected to represent Moldova in 2007 and since her breakthrough, she's released four studio albums and 20 singles. And as for her Eurovision song this year, in the middle I think she sings full in English, and the lyrics are about self-discovery, embracing change and spreading love. The song conveys an uplifting message that encourages listeners to listen to their inner voice, open their minds and be fearless in pursuing their dreams. Let's see how the performance was. Oh! Listen your voice inside your heart Right in the middle This is an interesting image to start. It's like she with the violin and four copies of her because they're all dressed the same, even the hair the violins, they, they all look the same. <laughs> and they're all dressed in black, which is very formal and very elegant. They're ready for their classical concert. Open your mind, just like a door, right in the middle. Well, I have to say I love the music of the violin and of course we know she has a beautiful and powerful, really powerful voice. And well, we also know this stage is, is not like the Eurovision stage, this doesn't have so much potential, it, it feels more like an audition than a real performance. So there's also a lot of room to improve visually and Moldova usually does it great, this upgrade for Eurovision, they usually 
solve it very well. Yeah, what I told you before, she has a really powerful voice and in fact the music, the, it has like different elements, different touches and it's pretty nice, interesting. Oh. <laughs> interesting ethnic change. Oh, this part has been really beautiful and interesting and the subtle choreography just with some movements and well yeah I expect they will play the violin at some point too right all these movements they are doing it has something mesmerizing in fact it's not boring at all well of course except for the visuals i don't really get these visual images but as i said this will change and be really improved for your vision so i'm not really paying attention to it right now but yes her expressiveness and with the backing vocalist this five girl presentation and how they are performing is quite interesting Feeling a bit epic and anthemic right now. <laughs> yes, time for the violin. Oh, the crown for the queen. And... Oh! Girl! Oh, that was really beautiful! Okay, so she surprised me. In fact, this performance was pretty good and the aesthetics was very beautiful. You, like this feeling of classical music concert I mentioned with all the five girls dressed the same very elegant in black and also like if they were copies or projections of Natalia but as far as the visuals in the background has to be improved I would keep this part I would keep this idea and the way they are placed on stage even they are quite static and they, they'll have the Eurovision stage which is much bigger and, and different they will have elements to move around but in fact I think I'll keep it that way just static and with these subtle movements they do which are really mesmerizing really interesting and the music of course it has many classical elements very interesting touches and it has like this anthemic like this epic sound which I always love and also a bit of ethnic also a bit of folk uh, moldovan folk and also this anthemic music this rhythm goes with the message of encouragement of giving you strength to follow your dreams so in fact this is pretty cool and the final part she lift the whole europe with the mouth open with this final like operatic it's really interesting i always thought this first eurovision entry this fight was more powerful because it was like more rocky right but in fact this one it's quite interesting too i'm not sure if it will be so powerful and impactful but i think they can do a very beautiful and pleasant performance so yes this has potential and it was better than expected now it's your turn tell me in the comments what do you think about this moldovan entry are you happy natalia is back Thank you so much for being here. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.